Estuary Fishing First Steps. Hi fellow fishers, welcome to this video. My name is Roger Osborne. In two weeks time, I'm doing a YouTube live on a Sunday night where I will be covering five key points on estuary fishing, estuary foundations. But right now, I'm gonna cover point one as an introduction and to give you a taste on what I'll be teaching in two weeks time. Is this you? I'd just like to be able to go fishing and have a reasonable expectation that I'm gonna catch some fish. Please point me in the right direction. I don't really want to spend mega bucks. I just want to go fishing, perhaps by myself or with my kids, and just feel like I've got a chance of being successful. Well, right now, I'm going to show you some really simple things, how you can get started. I'm going to show you what sort of rod and reel you need, uh, some basic rigs and baits that will actually get you catching fish. So let's get into it. Let's look at a basic entry level setup that will get you catching fish. But just quickly, I've got some great information for you about today's video that you can grab in this download or it's in the description as well. So let's have a look at what I've got here today. I have a rod that is about six and a half feet long and it is rated two to four kilos. You know, you don't really need a big long rod in the estuary. This type of rod will be perfect for a lot of different applications. And it's fitted with a two and a half thousand size spinning reel. You could spool this reel with six kilogram monofilament line, or what I've done is I've put six kilo braid on this with a fluorocarbon leader. Uh, and if you actually set yourself up this way in the beginning, what it means is you can do normal bait fishing or when you want to, you can actually transition to using some soft plastics or you can mix and match using lures and also bait. So it's actually a great way to go to have the, the braid with the fluoro leader. Now, I've also rigged this up with a very simple rig, which I can recommend highly, is your running sinker down to the swivel with a leader about 40 centimetres long and you tie your hook on. This is just a 1-0 suicide hook. And then I've got a small pack here of gear that I'm just going to grab and let you have a look at. Here is my tackle box with a very simple setup. I have two different sizes of ball sinkers, some size 2 long shank hooks, some 1-0 suicide hooks and some 3-0 suicide hooks and my swivels. So when I set up I've got my sinker, my swivels and my hooks. Let's look at some baits that will definitely get you catching fish and believe it or not the first bait I'm going to show you is the humble prawn that you buy frozen. What I like to do is I like to peel prawns when I'm using them for bait. I've caught so many fish on peel prawns it's incredible. I've caught thousands of fish on peel prawns. You can see I'm just going to put my peel prawn on the hook like so. When you buy them often the prawns are small um, and you might need to use two prawns um, in this case, uh, the second prawn I've got here is tiny, so, so you're not wasting any of the prawns that you bought. I'm just going to get this bit of extra meat out of there and put that on the end of my barb and my hook. And then you can see there, look, that's a, that is an absolutely delectable bait. Believe it or not, I've caught mulloway. I've actually caught mulloway on peel prawns like this. So many brims, snapper, trevally, the list goes on and on the different fish that you can catch flathead. And then when I peel the prawns, I use this as burley. I chuck, I chuck the heads and the skins out into the water to attract the fish. This is an absolute champion bait in the estuary, also off the rocks. In the free download, I've got some excellent other baits that you can use as well. Click the link to take you through. When it comes to picking a location, on this lake there are literally hundreds of spots that you could fish. And these are a few examples. Here we have a boat ramp, super easy access, but you can fish either side off the shore into the channel and catch most of your typical lake species. This platform is a great example of an excellent and easy access place to fish. I know that lots of fish get caught. Your typical brim, flathead, Taylor, Trevally, Mullet, Whiting, Luderick, all sorts of things get caught. A few of the locals like to hang out here. It's a really great place to fish on your own 
or you could bring your kids and have a fish. I'm going to be continuing this teaching in about two weeks time on a YouTube live where you'll be able to ask me questions right there and then. And I'm going to cover subjects such as estuary fishing methods and strategy. I'm going to give you some simple keys that'll give you the edge when it comes to catching fish. Also we'll look at times and seasons and we'll go into location and how to choose good spots in more detail. If this video has been helpful, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you haven't already, check out rogersfishing.com, Australia's newest online fishing community. Rogers Fishing is packed with a huge, ever-growing resource of step-by-step -step courses, instructional videos, live question and answer sessions with me, and loads more. Whether you're an absolute beginner or have been fishing for decades, there's something for everybody.